and it's done. In a stunning match, the fearless prodigy Iga Swiatek seized the crown at the 2023 Women's China Open, toppling Ludmila Samsonova. Iga's comeback on the hard courts in China was nothing short of extraordinary, leaving the tennis world in awe of her unmatched prowess. Now, let's dive into the full story of this remarkable achievement. A lot of goods, and look at her. Oh yeah, that meant so much to her as we... Iga Swiatek's journey through high-stakes hard-court tournaments this year has been a roller coaster. She dominated the early rounds at the Canada Open and Cincinnati Open in August, only to stumble in the semifinals against Jessica Pagula and Coco Gauff. September brought more disappointment at the U.S. Open. Sviantek served bagels early on, but faltered in a tough round of 16 clash with Ostapenko, losing 6-3, 3-6, 1-6. And the disaster did not stop there. Iga continued her journey in Japan at Torre Pan Pacific Open Tennis, where she lost again, this time in the quarterfinal, to Veronika Kudermatova. It was not looking good for Iga. But Iga refused to yield. Those losses served as her wake-up call, and she roared back, showcasing her skills with a stunning victory at the China Open. Then, the China Open ignited Iga Swiatek, brimming with hope, took center stage. The tennis universe, as well as trophy-starved sports enthusiasts, fixed their gaze upon her in anticipation. In a thrilling first-round clash, lasting one hour and 34 minutes, Iga Swiatek faced Sarah Sorib's Tormo. Iga took the first set 6-4, breaking Sorib's Tormo twice. Iga converted 33% of break points, while Sarah was clinical with one break point. Iga took control in the second set, breaking Sarah four times and winning 24 points to Sarah's 20. The match concluded in a victory for Iga, 6-4, 6-3. In the second round clash against Varvara Grecheva, Iga Schweintek faced her first encounter with the French woman since their junior days. Grecheva came out strong with two superb winners, showing her aggressive intent in the first set. However, Iga maintained her top-level performance throughout the match. Grecheva mounted a challenge by narrowing Iga's double-break lead, but the Polish star's powerful forehands secured her the first set. Following a rain delay, Grecheva struggled, committing 24 unforced errors, allowing Iga Swiatek to race toward a 6-4, 6-1 victory. Iga's electrifying 2023 China Open journey continued with a rare encounter with fellow Polish player Magda Lynette in the round of 16. Despite not having a previous meeting with Lynette, Iga Swiatek showcased her dominance, winning 6-1, 6-1 in just 66 minutes. Iga aimed for her first WTA 1000 title of the year and asserted her control from the start, securing an early double break lead in the first set. Lynette managed to get on the board, but Iga continued her relentless play, winning more games than her opponent had picked up points. A final decisive break secured victory for Iga. And Iga did not stop there. Her march to glory continued in the quarterfinals against Carolina Garcia, who had eliminated Annalina Kalinina in the previous round. The quarterfinal match went the distance, with Iga eventually prevailing 6-7, 7-6, 6-1 in a thrilling encounter that lasted 2 hours and 35 minutes. Both players showcased incredible serving skills, with Garcia hitting 16 aces and Iga responding with precision. Iga managed to convert more break points, earning 6 and converting 4, while Garcia had just 2 opportunities and converted both. Ultimately, Iga's solid baseline play and 30 winners secured her victory in this intense battle. For sure, it was really intense. We played really fast. There was no time sometimes to think or analyze. I'm happy I used my intuition a lot, said Iga after the game. In both of these first sets, every ball counted. I'm happy that in the third, I could just go for it. Iga's quest for a WTA 1000 title continued as she prepared to take on US Open champion Coco Gauff in the semi-final. Their match promised high stakes, with Gauff entering the match on a 16-match winning streak, setting the stage for an electrifying showdown. Iga had a strong 7-1 head-to-head edge over Coco, with Coco's sole victory in August at the Cincinnati Open semi-finals. 
and the game was on. Iga continued her relentless form, dominating Coco Goff from start to finish. She didn't face a single break point in the opening set, taking it decisively with just four unforced errors. Goff's second serve struggles gave Iga the edge, while the Polish sensation maintained her serve impeccably. In the second set, Iga's precision remained unmatched, and even a medical timeout for Goff couldn't halt her charge. Final stats showcased Iga's mastery with 17 winners and a near flawless serve performance, while Goff's 16 match win streak came to an end. Iga powered her way to her third WTA 1000 final this season with a commanding 6 2, 6 3 victory. I'm really happy with my performance, Sviantek said on court. It feels like I can play freely again, so I'm really happy. It's been a while since I felt that way. So I'll remember for the rest of my career that even though tougher times may come, in your mind you can always overcome that. And with hard work, you can achieve it. I'm happy that I switched my attitude after US Open and hopefully I'll be able to keep it for as long as possible. Iga's journey to the final has seen her equal Caroline Wozniacki's incredible record, making the most WTA 1000 finals reached before the age of 23 since 2009. The stage was set for the final. Fans and celebrities gathered to witness Iga's brilliance. Despite the formidable challenges that a young Polish talent like Iga often faces on the tennis court, Iga's mental strength and maturity propelled her to the top. In the final, she defeated Ludmila Samsonova in an emphatic 6-2, 6-2 in a match that lasted only one hour and nine minutes. For those who might not understand the gravity and significance of Iga's win, the numbers might help you. Iga Sviantek was prepared for a fierce battle against her opponent, Ludmila Samsonova, who played an aggressive, high-risk style of tennis. The match began with Samsonova unleashing her potent ground strokes, setting the stage for an intense showdown. Samsonova's initial power put Iga on alert, but the young Polish star remained poised. As the match unfolded, Sviantek recognized that Samsonova's game plan left her susceptible to sudden fragility. This moment came in the sixth game of the first set when Samsonova double faulted, gifting Iga the pivotal break. Trouble quickly mounted for Samsonova as her errors overtook her winners, and Iga capitalized on her opponent's unraveling game. Sviantek executed with surgical precision, committing zero unforced errors in the opening set and securing it in just 35 minutes. The second set mirrored the first as Iga continued her relentless assault. She broke Samsonova early to establish a commanding 3-1 lead. Despite Samsonova's efforts to regain her footing, Iga's unyielding pressure proved insurmountable. With Samsonova serving to stay in the match at 5-2 down, Iga applied the finishing touches, breaking once more to secure her first China Open title in a clinical and dominant performance. Iga's final victory cements her status as the first player since Serena Williams in 2015 to secure five or more titles in consecutive seasons, showcasing her remarkable consistency. I'm happy that I won because, for sure, this is really big for me, Iga said. Winning this title is something that I never would have thought at the beginning of the tournament about. I'm pretty proud of myself. Beijing marks Sviantek's 16th career title, adding to her impressive 2023 collection that includes victories at Roland Garros, Doha, Stuttgart, and Warsaw. With just one set dropped throughout the tournament, it's also her sixth WTA 1000 title, a record-breaking achievement as she becomes the sole player to claim six or more WTA 1000 titles before turning 23, surpassing Caroline Wozniacki's previous record of five. In her seventh final this season, Sviantek extended her perfect record against Samsonova to 3-0. She had previously dominated Samsonova, conceding just one game during their encounter earlier this year on the hard courts of Dubai. The 24-year-old Samsonova wished she could have shown more resistance in the final, but expressed satisfaction with her overall performance throughout the tournament. I think this is what she's doing the best because this is the stress that she made to other players that she doesn't make unforced errors. Every time you need to do something more, it's not real what you feel, but she makes you feel like this. This is what I learned today. 
Iga's surge in the year-end number one chase intensifies the competition, which will culminate at the WTA finals in Cancun. Initially lagging behind leader Arana Sabalenka by a formidable 1,305 points in the race to the WTA finals, Iga drastically closed the gap to a mere 630 points following her victory on Sunday, while an enticing 1,500 points remain at stake in Cancun. What are your thoughts on Iga's China Open triumph? Could this propel her closer to the year-end number one ranking? Share your opinions in the comments below.